we are waiting for as many people to come in as possible. It is just a, just a tiny bit before the top of the hour. And we're going to go ahead and start recording. Why don't you go ahead and do that, Mark? All right. Awesome. Well, I, if any of you are new, um, we do these sessions pretty much every Thursday. I, there was a chance I was going to be in South Dakota today, which is where I have um, created a relationship, a partnership with uh, a group that has a 11,000 acre property. It's about four hours from where I'm at now that we're now um, involved with and, and have a, a home up there. And so we're going to be uh, going up there regularly. And I was actually supposed to be up there today, but I have a trailer that has a uh, problem um, that's got a bunch of the stuff we need to take up there and we're going to have to delay until we get the parts that we've ordered uh, to be able to fix the issues with the trailer. So hopefully that gets done rather quickly because we really need to be up there getting some work done. We uh, have people that come on to our webinar here from all over the world and they come on live and most people watch it as a replay. So we are typically uh, making sure that we're talking about things that are relevant for someone who might watch this two years from now. But, but in this Talk with Wayne session, it's mainly me wanting to get you to interact with me through questions and comments. GoToWebinar has a new look very different than what it used to be. And uh, it's much more like Zoom now. I think they must have been losing a lot of customers because we're actually moving to Zoom next week. So uh, any of you that come to this regularly, um, you're going to want to uh, re-register again for the next week's session because, because we're moving it to Zoom. We're going to have a, a sort of a new registration process. So you'll get an email and it'll have a link and hopefully it'll be fairly easy to do. We've been doing Zoom meetings within our staff now for what, Mark, two years at least, maybe more. Oh, I bet, yeah, more since the pandemic started. So close to three years probably. And that we were using. Um, Google meetings, and now we're going to be using Google webinars, which will allow us to have up to 500 attendees and give us a, a lot of the same features, if not all the same features that we currently have for GoToWebinar. And we think it will be a lot more easily used than what GoToWebinar is. What I encourage you to do is put questions in. Um, there's a place that you can um, click where it says questions up on the top of the screen. There's another one that says chat and you can click on either one of those and we will see your questions and comments and we will um, acknowledge them and, and try to answer them. Um, we could have a guest with us here today um, named Stephen Miller and Stephen is a expert on blockchain. Um, and Mark is just putting in a hi everyone, welcome in the, the chat area. We, we rarely used chat before in GoToWebinar because it was so much easier to just use the questions. But last week we had a lot of interaction in the chat. So I encourage you guys, if you can, to interact with us again this time. And um, Looked like maybe Stephen was on here, Mark. Is that right? And then he, I just saw him, and then he looked like he kind of we lost him. Wow. Well, okay. All right. So it's not Stephen. All right. Um, and um, if you guys wouldn't mind, one of the ways we learn about things on this is we. We can't hear you either booing or clapping or whatever. 
Um, if you can hear me all right, would you put a one into the chat area? Uh, just put a one in. If you're having trouble hearing either Mark or I, put in a nine. That means that, uh, that you're struggling with something. If you ever really like something, you can put ones in also, um, or uh, you can uh, put in nines if you don't like something. And again, hopefully, if Mark comes on, we're going to talk about blockchain. And he has been kind enough to say that he would come with a regularly scheduled event, which we hope he'll be able to do in the future, and give us um, a bunch of really great information about blockchain. And I actually have become involved with him, with his company called Connect. And there's actually a lot of companies out there on the internet called Connect. And his is specifically connectunited.com. So connect and the word united after it. Actually, I'll show you real quick. Um, Mark, why don't, uh oh, it's not showing up. So I'm not going to take the screen. But it's Connect United, Mark. If you would maybe, maybe you can even show the screen for Connect United. Um, for some reason, it is not coming up on my screen right now. A what page? A login, yeah. That's that and it may be that there won't be a um, just a general website. I because they really don't go out and, and advertise to people uh, about about this. It's a personal invitation um, because we become where actually the nodes, the, the people that are making blockchain types of uh, programs. The reason I'm excited about it is that blockchain is beginning to be used for a lot of things other than what you hear about, which is, is uh, it's things like um, um, Ethereum and Bitcoin and so on. It's being used for a ledger. It's a way to get information out free and with um, open source, so anybody can create it and use it, and with full transparency, so that everyone knows what's happening with it. And, and it's being used for really cool things, like one of the, the sites they have is called Green, where if you are doing things to make the planet better, and here's Stephen's um, LinkedIn page that Mark's showing on the screen, Steve who has introduced me to this. Um, if you are interested in, in learning more before Stephen comes on, you can certainly just come and see me. I am not an expert in by any means. I hope to be learning from this. So that's what the goal is. And again, put some questions in. The whole idea of today's session is mainly to let you be the ones leading it, take us in the direction that you want. I actually have several topics that we'll talk about um, if you don't if you don't bring something in. But, um, but I'd really like to talk about what you want to learn about, what, what kinds of things that are out there. Um, Mark, would you go back, go to the, go to another way web page, which is G O V V I dot com. Govi. No, G O V I I Govi dot com. And maybe uh, this is, you might have to agree that you uh, to have a dangerous website. How many of you guys get this for most of the interesting things you found? Oh, that's not it. That's not it at all. Uh, I must be, let me just make sure I let you know here, Mark. I've got it open on my computer. 
govv.com, G-O-V-V-O. It's two uh, it's two V's in one I. Govv.com, G-O-V-V-I. Stephen looks like he came on here. So we might acknowledge him and make him a speaker at some point. Yeah, I think he already is. Stephen, if you want to throw up your, um, your. So I'm, try I'm trying to get my camera on. I think I may have to log out and log back in. So I I'll be right back. That's great. That's fine. Too. Um, so Gobi is a company I've heard about for a while. It started about a year and a half ago in March, I think, of 2022. And a good friend of mine who owns uh, a heavy equipment company that does road work, they make roads, they make um, air, airport runways, they've been in the business for 80 years. The, the current generation that's running it is uh, in their 50s, and, and my friend is in his late 70s and his father started the business so they have hundreds of huge pieces of equipment and then they all drive their own cars and trucks there's there's steven uh and one of the issues that they always want to improve on is mileage and about in in march of this year this guy jim jim dwyer told me about um this company and a product specifically that they had. And so if you click on that Go the Auto, uh, Mark, um, just check that for a second here. Um, if you, it's a catalyst and there's really excellent science. And the guy that invented it actually won a Nobel Prize for some other things that he worked on in his career. And um, I've been using it now and it improves the fuel economy in vehicles that I have by 20%, and a $3 cost will get a $15 to $17 gain. So that's pretty, uh, pretty excellent um, return on investment. And literally, it is a pill that's about that size. It's a little football shaped. Um, and you add that to anywhere between 12 and 18 gallons of fuel, which is about what a lot of times people put in their vehicles. Um, if you've got more than that, you can put more of the pills in. One of those pills is what I said is about $3 cost. And um, it has just worked amazing for me. His company that has 100 large pieces of equipment saves and has been for 18 months now, saving about $20,000 a month on fuel. So that's pretty amazing. Anyway, that's just was a sideline, Stephen. We're waiting for you to come in, and uh, I have uh, share. I always share things that over the last week in time that I get excited about, and this Govi is something that I have been excited for a while about, but I hadn't gotten a chance to try anything from it until just now, and now I have, and so I just wanted to share that. Um, Stephen, if you're getting used to the, the, the setup here, it's very similar to, to uh, um, Zoom. Um, we can see people's questions. I wouldn't worry about those so much. Mark will continue to look at those for us. Why don't you and I just chat? You should have at the bottom of your screen the ability to share your screen if you'd like to at any point here as we just talked. And um, so this I'm is, uh, is, is X'd out for me. I guess I'm not a presenter yet. Okay, Mark can make you one. That's easy to do. Um, Great. So we'll just we'll just chat for a little bit, and then you'll have that. And you already have figured out that you can blur your background. I'm not. I haven't decided to figure out how to do that yet, so I haven't blurred mine. As you can see, um, I got a post from somebody recently about what Albert Einstein's desk looked like the last day that he was alive, and it was just piles of paper for everybody. And they say that. Uh, a lot of times the people that are not that are not very neat and that's um, are not really well well organized um, in terms of the way they leave their stuff 
I don't know, but that's what I'm. They got the ge- they've got the genius going on up there. They don't have time to mess with all the with all the minutia around them, right? <laughs> so you guys see my background. I want to show one thing real quick, just because I'm a golfer, and this is something that I I risked on Facebook and bought, um, and it's something that you can just hang on the side of your golf bag uh, if you're playing, and if you hit it with your club, so I'm going to do this and you'll see it. And your club scratches over the zoop. I'm going the wrong way, so I got to go this way. If it scratches over the surface of it, it will, uh, yeah, there. That was where I actually hit it. That there. If it was the club hitting it, I'm going to use this little device here and do it. Uh, well, there. There would be where. If, if you hit, that'd probably be a pretty good strike. You'd probably put the ball here. So you don't use it when you're playing. You use it when you're warming up and you're practicing. But then you get it like this, and that takes that off. That's the cool part of it. So I'll just do another one here. Come on. It's not, it's not coming. Anyway, that could cost like $16 for two of them. And uh, anyway, it's worked pretty cool for me. This was a a recent one that I got. They do fall apart more easily than you'd like. That's what's sitting in the background. So I got two new ones. Anyway, let me just give you guys a little introduction to Stephen. Um, I got a text from him early this week, and he just said we ought to get together again. And all I saw on it was his phone number, which I didn't recognize. And I just got back to him, and, and he I said, how do we know each other? And then he brought back how we got to know each other, which was in 2015, so it's been eight years, when Stephen was doing another venture, which he'll talk about probably briefly, um, that I got involved with. It's called Strongbrook, and his partner was a guy named Chris Crone that some of you maybe get some emails from on some kind of a basis, Um, and I got involved with Strongbrook, which is in the real estate space, and um, I met Stephen at the annual conference that they had in 2015. And then we communicated a number of times. But I only stayed involved with that for about a year until sometime late in 2016, maybe a year and a half or so. And we just lost touch since then. So um, I always like it when somebody from my past comes back into my life. That was an easy way for me to say, yeah, I'd love to chat with you. Well, he got back to me right away. And I think that was uh, Tuesday and Monday or Tuesday. And we talked for an hour and a half, maybe a little longer. We had an amazing conversation. It was so good that I asked him to come and give a talk for us, and which he's agreed to do here in the future. And then today I said, if you want to come on with my talk with Wayne's session, I'd love to have you. Um, I didn't, we weren't going to have a chance to advertise him at all, which we really didn't. We have one email today that went out that talked about the fact that he might be here. But, but um, anyway, we're excited to have you, Stephen. And that's just my little bit of an introduction. And why don't you spend a few minutes and tell us just a little bit about how you want to start out, and then you and I are just going to have a dialogue. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'll turn on a little bit more light. Maybe it'll, uh, you know, show up a little bit better here. But, um, yeah, you know, uh, it's, it is always good to connect, uh, and I, I, I didn't mean that uh, in, in, in any other way, uh, really. But it's great to connect with people that you have, you know, um, known from the past. Uh, I just I love networking. I love people. Um, I, I love you know, especially when I meet an individual that that brings value into my life. Uh, you know, it's my nature is I want to I want to try to do the same. You know, I want to try to provide value somewhere. Uh, wherever I possibly can. Uh, the real estate arena was fantastic. It still is. I love real estate. Real estate is one of those things. It's obviously it's been around forever. Uh, there's always been a need for people to have, have dwellings of some sort, and and you know to be able to assist individuals in in getting those types of dwellings or even investment properties uh, was a wonderful venture. I, I did that for a very long time. Uh, gosh, a little it was over a decade uh, that I really was focusing on that. And, um, you know, over the years, I, I had been introduced to 
uh, a newer technology called blockchain, which many of you probably have heard uh, of what that is, or maybe you've heard of Bitcoin or uh, you know, or cryptocurrencies. Uh, I, I, co I completely dismissed it for a number of years because I was so involved in real estate. I just, I didn't want to take time to learn something brand new, a whole new industry and everything that was behind it. So I ignored it for a number of years, but luckily I had a friend who reached out to me and said, hey, I met these guys that are big in the blockchain space. I'd love for you to come with me and meet these guys and learn about what they're doing. And so I, I did, I trusted this individual, uh, you know, and I went and met these guys. And one of the guys, one of the individuals there was the number one Bitcoin miner in North America for about two, maybe two and a half years. And, um, you know, this, this individual obviously had a completely advanced and different perspective than I did in the in the realm of blockchain and technology and, and crypto. And uh, so I just I started learning. I met these guys, uh, you know, on one particular uh, evening. And I think from that meeting, almost every single day thereafter, I was in their office uh, learning from them and trying to figure it out and and getting as much information as I possibly could eventually. I, I, I put everything else that I had been doing kind of uh, in the background and I, I dedicated almost 100% of my time to learning about and participating in and uh, helping eventually to then develop uh, some of the different business businesses and ideas in this blockchain world uh, that I was learning about and, and had so much um, honestly it just it intrigued me <laughs> more than anything had in a long long time. And so, uh, so I jumped in and started helping them. Uh, I started managing one of the development teams that they had at that time uh, and just kind of serving where I could. Uh, you know, we started to kind of get the word out for a minute. Then we paused as we really felt like we needed to focus more on the technology of what we had and what we were building. So, uh, yeah, we've been kind of heads down for the last four and a half, we'll see, no, close to five and a half years building out really amazing blockchain technology and uh we had we've had a couple of uh actually a handful of really great wins uh one of those was a particular project uh that was called gala it was in the gaming industry and again i, I can talk forever so wayne stop me at any time if you if you, you know uh, well. but i i got involved with uh so we, we we were actually introduced my my business partner was uh, out in Switzerland, and he was at a technology conference called Davos. If you've ever heard, it's a Davos is the area in Switzerland, and they do this large technology conference every single year, where the who's who in technology come together and they discuss innovation and all sorts of things. Well, um, one of this ind one individual was there uh, who had been really big in the gaming online gaming world. Uh, he helped. Uh, he was part of Zynga, and uh, their their leadership. Uh, he, he helped take Zynga, which is a, one of the biggest names in the online gaming industry. They built Words with Friends and Mafia Wars and Farmville 2 and a number of other these big online free-to-play type games. Um, and they, he, he took that company actually to their uh, uh, IPO, which was I think the largest gaming IPO in Silicon Valley history at the time. It was a $10 billion IPO. And so... He left Zynga uh, after they kind of did all their stuff, you know, made made a great, great success with Zynga. Um, he was at this conference and he was asking around and asking, hey, I keep on hearing about blockchain. I want to put gaming on the blockchain. Who do I talk to? And everybody kept on pointing towards my, my business partner at the, at the time who was there to speak on blockchain tech. So they met, they met over there and uh, hit it off. And, uh, you know, he's like, I can... Uh, the other gentleman said, I can handle the gaming side if you guys can handle the blockchain side. We said, absolutely, let's do this. And so we, we got together, formed uh, formed Gala. Gala was a tremendous success, still is. Uh, individuals can, and the neat part about it is the nature of blockchain is uh, there's, there's kind of four main components that really are the reasons why I think most companies right now, technology companies and otherwise, are trying to enter the blockchain space. Number one is this idea of decentralization, meaning uh, 
projects can grow better and faster if you hand ownership or give ownership to the people, right? If, if, if individuals are incentivized to participate in a, in a different way, uh, that can be a catalyst for massive growth. So decentralization is huge. Uh, number two is immutability. Um, and what the blockchain does is, you know, it, it creates a scenario where it can't, the information can't be faked. It's, it, if it's, if it's happened, it's there and it's recorded and it's, it's in the blockchain, it's immutable, right? You, you can't change it later on. Uh, it's, it, I mean, you can change things moving forward, but the record of it will always be there and it will always remain and anybody can look at it. And that, that, that's a lot of power there, uh, for trust, or I should say creating a trustless society where you don't have to just trust a third party. You can verify it yourself, right? So that's the immutability there. Security is beyond any of its predecessors. Uh, if anyone has ever tried to set up a wallet, you know, a, a Bitcoin wallet or uh, Ethereum wallet or any other wallet in the blockchain space, it's, you, you know, it's, there's a little bit of a learning curve. I was actually talking to Wayne earlier. Uh, we were kind of texting back and forth and he's like, man, this isn't easy. I was like, well, it's easier. It's just, it's, it's not perfectly easy yet because part of that is because of the security level around it and, and the personal control, right? The, the sovereignty, the freedom that comes with owning it yourself and, and they're not ever being a middleman to, to bail you out at some point, right? That's important, I think, because that's where true freedom comes. And so we're big on that. Um, but then the, the fourth thing is transparency. And, uh, you know, real blockchains uh, or, or real companies or organizations or projects that are built on blockchain technology uh, the, the important information is transparent. You can, you don't have to, again, you don't have to go through a middleman. You can see it and find it directly on the blockchain. And so those, those four points are really, I think what attracted me to this entire space and, and got me so interested, got me down the rabbit hole, back up out of the rabbit hole, back down into the rabbit hole, you know, just really trying to figure out as much as I possibly could. And, and then with Gala, when Gala came on board, um, it, it, it just was a tremendous success. We had built some core technology that uh, we implemented with uh, a couple other projects, and then we then transferred it over and implemented it with Gala. And it really proved just to be, um, uh, it was picked up worldwide in a really, really big way. And, uh, and that created some tremendous success for those of us that were involved uh, and many others. Uh, as a matter of fact, there were many, many people who had never been part of blockchain before, who got involved with, with Gala and, and just, it changed their lives in, in some really cool ways. Um, so, you know, what we're doing now today, uh, kind of, and, and moving forward from, from that, we are taking what we've learned with that project. Uh, we are taking that same core technology and we're applying it to a number of different industries, uh, utilizing kind of the same, uh, blockchain technology. So it's it's the node software, which allows us to decentralize it, right? Anybody can participate anywhere throughout the world. It is the wallet technology, again, that is non-custodial in nature. So anybody can use it for whatever they would like. And you have the private keys. I don't have your private keys, right? That to me is so important. And that's one of the only ways that real blockchains, I think, can grow is with that security and, and that uh, immutability there. And then... Um, we also built a, a distribution platform uh, utilizing smart contracts and other things uh, that allow that to run just automatically. Uh, allow, I mean, that, which is super important, obviously, in the blockchain space. And uh, each of these different projects are their own blockchain. Uh, they, you know, a lot of people have built on on Ethereum, for example, which is, uh, you know, they call those ERC twenty tokens or ERC twenty projects. Uh, which is a project that was built on the Ethereum blockchain. And in the beginning, we did that as well. Uh, we utilized that. It's a great foundation. It was a great kind of train track uh, that led us to where we needed to be. But uh, in the last, uh, gosh, six months to a year, we've really spent some time and resource in creating uh, for each project their own blockchain. Those can now be bridged and transferred over into the Ethereum blockchain where all the traffic is still. You can do that. But there's some huge benefits of also having having the own gas fees and other things like that. And I know, again, I'm just saying a lot right now because there is so much information, uh, but it is something that I am truly passionate about. It's something that uh, aside, you know, in comparison to what I had done in the past with real estate, I was, I was talking to people all over the nation. As a matter of fact, I even went into other parts of the world and was talking about helping people 
uh, transact real estate in the U.S., even if they were, you know, out, outside of the U.S. And as much as I loved that conversation, I knew that no matter where I went, I was talking to a very small percentage of the people because you had to have good income, good credit, good assets, or if you didn't have one or two of those three, then you at least had to have the cash, right? Because if you had a lot of cash, you could obviously purchase a home outright and do things that way. Um, but I, I was talking to a very small percentage of any of the rooms that I was ever talking to. With blockchain technology and with what we're doing with this node technology, it allows anybody, anybody throughout the entire world to participate. I don't care if you're, you know, uh, stricken with poverty and, and you're, you're, you have very little to your name, or if you're a multi-billionaire and you have a lot to your name, it doesn't really matter. There are options and opportunities for each person to participate at the level that makes the most sense. And then on top of that, we're also training and teaching. We have a whole bunch of, you know, free, free information for people because this is a new space and people need to learn about it. You know, we understand that. So yeah, so that's a, that's kind of in a, in a large, but hopefully a little bit smaller nutshell, uh, some of, some of what we're doing and what I'm so excited about and Wayne, thank you. Thank you for inviting me on, but we can have, you know, whatever, if you want to ask questions or if there's anyone else that wants to, I'm happy mm -hmm. to take whatever time. And I, I would hope we get a bunch of questions from the audience. I have a ton of them that I'll ask. And then even my staff that are on, if you guys have some, you guys just jump in and ask. Um, as Stephen said, um, it, it is a little more complex than what um, maybe some other things you could be doing it are. But sometimes there's value in complexity. And, and certainly once you solve something, then you get a sense of, of good feeling about that and, and, and then able to move ahead and, and you learn. But also the ability, like, like I heard him just say, he said it to me with the same kind of passion, anybody to be able to do it. Now, the key, I think, today is you, you've, you've got to have an internet connectivity, which most of the world does, probably even in other places. Even with your world. phone, at least, yeah, most people do. Some place, yeah. And so that, that's a little bit of a, a need. But you can do things. And I'm going to let, I do want Stephen to tell us about some of the newer projects that they're working on that aren't to the point yet that they're the, the great money makers like Gala has become. But I'm going to start out by telling the connect the uh, experience I had today with one of the, of the, of the technologies that they have worked on, which is yeah. to pay bills or to pay for a, to, for something. And in, in this case, it was to actually solve my problem, um, which is I did end up not transferring my Ethereum from Coinbase into my wallet that I've now created um, in Connect. And notice Connect is the name of their business. Steve's got it on his shirt there, yeah. Um, and, um, and he may bring the website up here a little bit later if, if, uh, if he wants to. But if not, when, when he comes and talks to us and sort of has a presentation as such, we, he certainly will. By the way, Stephen, I've been and watched four of the PowerPoint presentations. They're very good that you have in the back office. That's the learning academy side of things. And, and so that, that's helped with me with my learning curve a little bit. But anyway, I was challenged with moving some Ethereum from Coinbase, which is what I use as a uh, exchange um, over into Connect. And part of the reason was I had bought some of it recently and it would let me transfer the, what I had bought previous, but it was putting a hold on it in the shorter term. And I was anxious and excited and wanted to get things going. And I didn't want to have that weight. So instead, I solved it, Stephen, by the way, that you suggested is I just went in and used the one node technology I'm going to talk about, which is called Switch. Yeah. Which I love you didn't tell the story about how that came together. So that's what I want you to start with, even. I will. Um, yeah. Where yeah. you can go in to the Connect site once you've joined, which by the way, that's free. Anybody can do that. And um, and then you can um, buy Ethereum. I'm going to use that term. I don't know whether that's the appropriate term to use. 
but yeah. through, through your wallet. So you have to create your wallet first. And I did that. And then I used my wallet and I, um, and, and the, the connectivity though, between my wallet and the money, which was in a bank account and on a debit card. So I used a debit card, um, was the linkage was done by this, this venture called switch. And I only knew that it had anything to do with what you're doing because you had mentioned it and you actually showed me a credit card that you had. And as I later um, signed up for switch, which was after I got signed up and connect and was to be able to do what I wanted to do with the node. um, I found out I could get a credit card just like Steven has. Um, And, but also, it solved my problem of this transfer and creating the, the, the Ethereum by purchasing it. Now, I did have an interesting term, you used it just a little earlier, uh, a gas charge, there, which was, a, I'm just calling it a fee. You might explain why is it called a gas charge? There must, yeah. be some, there must be some reason for that. But it had fees that were very similar to what I'd pay to move things around inside Coinbase and all the other different kinds of, of, of places where your cryptocurrency can be um, transacted. So it wasn't anything crazy that way. Um, and what took me a little time is um, Ethereum went down a little bit um, from yesterday till today. And, and Stephen had told me that I should put a little bit more in there than I knew what the the, the, this node I was going to purchase was going to what's going to cost, and I had done that, but then I didn't take into account the fees that were kind of being charged on both sides. Coinbase was charging them at first because I I did move a little bit in first from Coinbase, and then I decided to just purchase it as I said um, through the switch process, and I had some fees anyway. It took me a couple more steps than it would have. So let's start there. And he was holding up the card. It looks just like any other credit card that you might have. And I'm and it's backed by Visa, so you could use it for whatever you could potentially use your Visa card of um, a Citibank or wherever else it might be made from. There it is. Yeah. So this so that so so Switch is a fantastic project. Uh, I love it. Uh, not only not only is it there. I don't. I think I left my phone in my truck. I was going to show you the Apple Pay portion because like, you can put it on Apple Pay. You know, it's very very easy to use. And and the whole thing around that for us is, you know, we've been in this space for a long time. There are a lot of different uh, crypto debit card type of of, of projects out there. Uh, Cash App has a card. Coinbase even has a card. You know, and there are there are definitely others. Most of those cards require a, a large amount of staked coins for you to fully be able to utilize the benefits of that card. And there are typically some pretty high fees associated with it that most people don't read the fine print, so they don't realize it until they start using it. And they're like, man, why do I have so much less than I thought I did? You know? And so Switch, Switch is a, um, and I even, I even have my little Switch wallet here. And that was a logo before it was, it's changed since then, but that was kind of the, the, the first, um, but switch switch is a project uh, that really was um, thought up to solve a lot of those problems to make it easier for individuals to switch in between their crypto and their fiat currencies uh, to be able to easily use their cryptocurrencies uh, in real world scenarios you know and so that that's really what switch uh, was all about the uh, the leadership right now of switch is uh, it's just sort of we have an amazing team. Uh, the individual that is heading it up as the president of Switch uh, was an individual by the name of Kathy Roberts. And if you don't know who Kathy Roberts is, it's okay. Uh, most people don't know who some of the top CEOs are of most banks. We just don't, we don't hear their names, you know. Uh, but Kathy Roberts was the, um, the president of Discover Bank. And if you've ever had a Discover card or heard of Discover card, that came and stemmed out of Discover Bank. So uh, Kathy Roberts was the president of Discover Bank. She actually launched the Discover card. Uh, a really cool kind of factoid about that is uh, Kathy Roberts was the individual who invented the points system or the point reward system for credit cards. Uh, those th- that, us- that usually or beforehand, that wasn't even a thing, right? People use their credit cards, they were charged fees, and, and it wasn't really 
I mean, it was convenient in that it allowed you to, you know, uh, get instant credit if you needed it for a purchase or whatever. But, but those rewards programs back in the day, in the early days of credit cards, were not a thing. They weren't there at all. So Kathy, Kathy Roberts with with uh, Discover Card, they invented it. They implemented it first. Uh, as you know, today there you can't get a card that doesn't have some sort of rewards program. It seems they all they've all implemented because they realize people will spend more if there's a benefit, right? That's that's what they will do. Now it's interesting because that concept is actually a fundamental concept in good blockchain technology. In other words, why don't we reward people? For actions that they're going to take anyway and I, I you know Wayne I think you and I talked about this I talked about my kids and their shoes and, and maybe you know I think I did, I did I go over that with you a little bit that uh, that example to me is a, a, such a great description of what good blockchain technology could do I I almost wish I would have set that up as a blockchain <laughs> because I bet you a lot of people around the world have had this have had this issue um, but imagine for a second so I've got seven kids and that's that's a true story um, my, my oldest is 19, my youngest is nine years old. So we had seven kids in 10 years. And uh, with seven kids, there's a lot of needs and they love shoes. And for some reason, my kids have landed on this love of Nikes. And for anyone who knows Nikes, they're not the cheapest shoe. As a matter of fact, they're one of the more expensive shoes. And you know, you can spend, I mean, the truth is you can spend thousands of dollars on a pair of Nikes, which is crazy to me. But my my kids, um, you know, their their shoes are often 150 bucks, 200 dollars a pair, kind of thing. And uh, well, a, a couple of years ago, we bought a dog, and this dog was a German Shepherd Malinois mix. He is he's like a big, almost military police dog looking thing, you know, beautiful dog. Uh, and as a puppy, he loved to chew up shoes. And so every every day or so, I feel like for a, a couple of weeks, I would come home to a a new pair of shoes that had just been destroyed by this dog, right? So another two hundred dollars just thrown out the door. And so, so I started thinking about blockchain. And I'm like, how can I incentivize my children to to uh, clean up their shoes, to put them away where they need to go, to get them out of the reach of the dog? And I thought, you know what? If it, this this incident, you know, over that several week period, had cost me probably close to you know, a, a couple thousand dollars, something like that, right? In, in having to replace shoes. So I thought, what if before that had happened, I had implemented a blockchain where on this blockchain, part of your mining actions, part of what you, you are required to do is to put your shoes away. Every time that you put your shoes away in their, in their closet or whatever, what if you were, were, you were rewarded a dollar? for something, right? And we did this over a period of time. Well, most people know that in order to create habits, usually a 30 day period is, is a great period of time. So if, if I have my kids now, each of them for 30 days straight, going and putting their shoes away so that they're not creating a really healthy and good habit, um, they'll get paid, right? So they'll be incentivized to do it because they're getting rewarded for it. I am incentivized to do it because I will, I will in the end pay less then replacing their shoes is at the end of the day, right? I'm gathering, I'm gathering now this army of individuals that know how to clean and, and are more responsible. So it's, it's doing things for my community, right? And then, and then I don't feel angry at the dog and I'm not, you know, not that I beat my dog or anything, but you know, I'm, I'm not tempted to, you know? And so, so it's a, it's a win, win, win scenario here. And that to me at, at its foundation is the power of blockchain. It, it creates an opportunity for us to reward individuals and for or for re individuals to be rewarded on a global scale uh, in a really cool way and bless lives of people all over the place right so i just anyway i love it and and that's that's kind of what we're building here and so let's take switch stay on switch how would someone who wanted to take advantage of making money by helping people have a different approach to transferring funds and, and and fiat and crypto and so on what what, what would you do so you let's say you you acquired a node yeah and i i see that the switch node must be pretty successful because it's one of your more expensive nodes it is um, so, I, so I, I actually recently purchased a, a a good handful of switch nodes at the current price that you see actually i may have purchased them hundred dollars less per because I think the price was was down a little bit before but not much further 
and the reason why I bought nodes at that price uh, was because number one, everybody uses a card, you know, and if they can't because they're unbankable right now, Switch is going to be able to bank the unbankable. And what I mean by that is there are people all throughout the world who don't have a bank account, who can't get a bank account for whatever reason. Maybe their country doesn't have the infrastructure or whatever. They have cell phones, though. I mean, they have Internet. They have access. It's just that infrastructure is not in place. And so there's a lot of people that can't get loans. They can't grow businesses. They can't transact appropriately because there's no way for them to do it in a really um, in, in a good way that's reliable. Right. So what I think. So for me, I have purchased switch notes. As I run those switch nodes, because they go 24-7, as I run those switch nodes, and then as I use my switch card, and there are some, you know, some small requirements, but if I am using my card every month and running my switch nodes every day, I actually will earn more in the distribution. They will work together, and I will earn even more in the distribution than I would if I just ran my nodes. So again, I'm incentivized as a node owner. Basically, I'm, a, I'm an owner of the blockchain. I, I, I own a piece of the blockchain. And so I am incentivized to do actions I would do anyway when I'm going to buy my groceries, when I'm going to pay my gas bill, whatever. I can do it with my Switch card now and earn even more rewards that way. I mean, honestly, before Switch came around, uh, you know, and we're in a little bit of a transition right now. They're, they're actually opening up. Uh, uh, their car provider was a domestic company initially. They're now uh, transferring to a international company, which I love. I don't know if your if your people uh, on this call are are here in the U.S. or if they're international. In nature. I, I love it. Um, you know, but there this is an international. All of these projects are are global projects, and and they're being structured as such, so that anybody throughout the world can can take advantage of it and participate in it. And so, yeah, as I'm doing my normal banking, I, I now can get rewarded even more. Uh, rather than getting a one or two or three percent cash back kind of reward, I'm actually earning a ton of switch, and and I love that because currently switch has a value on on the uh, open market. It's not super high right now, which I actually love. It's very very low. It's like I think it's point zero zero one cent or something like that per switch. The beauty of that, with what I understand and know and what I've seen, is as the community grows there is potential for that to grow as well. It's not a guarantee, but I've seen that happen many times. And, and so I have, I have this like underlying really huge amount of excitement because of what I, what I see uh, of where it is currently. And it's only been out for a short period of time and, and the potential of what I think uh, could happen as well. Let's go, let's just take the person who all they could afford to do is do whatever they need to do to have the card so that they're going to start using it. How sure. will they, they can't acquire a node. Um, and by the way, we, we, I learned today that there are, I'll call them light loads and nodes yeah. and where you can actually buy a very small piece with as little as I think $25 for a switch <laughs> light node. But yeah. the person in Ghana, I don't care where they are in the world, the person here in the US even, um, that $25 is still a fortune for them. But if all they did was got the card and they started to use it to buy things, would what would their yeah? Um, so there are action points. Their points be or their gap, their cash back or what would how, how would they? Yeah, that, that's great. So all all the points are are delivered in Switch. So that so an individual that wants to participate, uh, they can still do so, right? So there are the beautiful thing that I love about these projects. Switch absolutely is part of this is each of them were built upon a mining protocol called proof of action. And that proof of action protocol is honestly to me the most powerful protocol that I've ever seen in the mining world. There's proof of uh, work, which is like Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and, and, and a few others utilizes proof of work protocol. There's proof of stake. Uh, there's proof of storage. There's proof of power. So I've seen a lot of different protocols. And by the way, Blockchain is so new that there's still a lot that's being invented. There's a lot that is that is kind of coming down and, and being thought up that can benefit people and, and, and those that are participating. So the proof of action protocol is one that was invented by the Wind blockchain, so uh, which is the uh, the native blockchain of Connect. It's called the Wind blockchain. Uh, and so we invented a protocol called proof of action, which basically it takes it takes your node software and everything that it's doing. 
it, it couples it with these actions that are also needed on the blockchain. So individuals that are doing some of these actions can be rewarded. People that are running their nodes can be rewarded. Obviously, if you do both, you can receive even more, right? And so that that is where the power is. Uh, there's a lot of people that can contribute in a number of different ways, uh, both by doing some of those actions. Maybe some of those actions are even sharing and, and getting, getting other people involved by having them purchase nodes. That could be an action that also adds to your distribution, right? So the whole point is, is we get the word out, we expand, we bring more people on, we help to increase adoption. And the more that happens, the better it is for everyone that's participating. And with Switch, if I'm a person who can't afford to buy a node, but I can certainly talk to people about what the card's done for me, I can yep. still benefits by showing other people that they can get the card also. Absolutely, yeah, still benefit there. Good, okay. Yeah. Let's talk yeah, about some of the cool ones that you told me about the other day, yeah. one of them called Green. And yeah. talk, talk about that one and what, what you can do there. Yeah, so so green is in the green energy space, uh, which which I, I you know some people love it, uh, others don't, and wh whatever your preference is doesn't matter. I mean, there's there's just so much happening right now to uh, you know to try to lessen and or eliminate our power bill. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you uh, if I can, I'm going to share my screen here. Oh, I, I it, looks, it looks like I still can't share. Can I? Mark, Mark, could you grant the ability to share? Perfect. Let's see. It looks like, oh, there we go. Oh, I may have to go into my system preferences real quick, just a second. Something's going on because I'm just seeing me now, and in a second, I bet I'm going to see your screen. Well, everybody, this is going to be a lot of fun for you to learn more and more about, and it is incredibly economic. And I'll just broadly say, Mark and I, Mark being in Bangladesh, and Arib in Pakistan, talk all the time about things that I can do here in America that they can't do in Bangladesh or Pakistan. They have just as much opportunity to do things with this concept there as anybody anywhere else in the world does. And again, all you have to have is a connectivity to a computer somehow or a phone, I mean, the ability to connect with other people online, and then you're able to, to take advantage. And Stephen was going to show us specifically some things uh, with, with, with uh, the green concept that he was describing. Francis said he had some audio problems. Mark, did, did he solve them? Because he stayed around. He did finally jump off. But did, do you know he never did answer whether he solved his problems or not? Obviously, we're not getting Steven back here. And okay, sorry about that. I, I think I had to go back and, and update some. Okay, perfect. 
we got it. Sorry about that, guys. I, I tried to tried to jump in and share, and there was a setting on my side, I guess, that wouldn't allow me, so I had to jump off again and come back, come back on. Um, but let's let's uh, go through a couple things here. So let's see. By the way, I think this will be easier when we go to to Zoom, Mark, so you won't have these challenges. Yeah, I, I do like Zoom. I've used Zoom quite a bit. So uh, this is uh, this is our, our dashboard. So anybody can obviously get access to this. Uh, and for anybody in your community, Wayne, that would like to, you can send out your link to them. Uh, this is an invitation-only community. Uh, you can't just come to a website and sign up, you know, uh, by yourself. It is invitation-only. Uh, so that I, I love that about this. But the community is growing every day, and, and there are some really cool things here. Uh, that everyone gets access to uh, that comes in. Number one is the Academy. Uh, and this is where you can start learning just all about great things around the blockchain, uh, blockchain basics, uh, advanced blockchain topics here that you can see. Uh, you know, what's a non-fungible token? You maybe have heard of the term NFT, right? That's, that's a non-fungible token. And this talks all about what those are and, and what, what they can do and why so many different projects are utilizing those. There's a big buzz around those for a lot of bad reasons, too. Uh, but it also can be that technology can be used for some really amazing things. Uh, you can learn about decentralized autonomous organizations or DAOs, uh, as are understood here in the blockchain world. Anyway, you can do a ton. It's all there. You can look at that. Uh, but each of the different projects that are, are in uh, here, you can see. I mean, again, Switch, we've talked about this already. But you can learn more about Switch, what it is, uh, what they're doing, how you can get started, you know, with the Switch node, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can learn about Galvin. Galvin's in the health and wellness space. And I'm not going to take you through every single thing here, but I just want you to know there is so much information for you to learn about and explore right here. And it's, it, you know, you can learn as much as you want to. All of that is free. And then, of course, if you want to buy nodes, you click on buy nodes and there are options like we talked about, right? There are everything from a $25 light node up to a $6,700 uh, powerful smart node uh, that, that is uh, it for, for Switch. Uh, so anyway, there's lots of different options. Um, what exactly were we talking about before I jumped off? I apologize. I green. Lost uh, I think you were going to go to green. green. Oh. That's right. I pulled that up. Thank you so much. So, so this is green. Um, Green, uh, one of the major contributors right now to the green blockchain is a group called Set Power Free. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, organization. They are building a lot right now uh, towards the, the green blockchain. One of their biggest goals, though, is to allow individuals to use green to pay their power bill. And when someone does use green to pay their power bill, they will actually get a reward back for that in green. So it's, it's neat. Uh, you're incentivized to use your green. Uh, some people that say, they, hey, I don't have green or I don't have a green node, it's okay. You can go into the marketplace, purchase green, use that green to pay your power bill, and then you'll get extra green back, right? It's kind of a really neat system that allows for more and more people to not only utilize the token and create some utility around it, but to get a rebate for, for that. And I think everyone would love, you know, if I can cut my power bill uh, down, even if it's just 10% for now, if I can pay 10% less on my power bill, that's a savings, you know? And, and that's that, that can go a really long way. As a matter of fact, you know, most people may not understand what um, uh, how solar works. And I don't want to go into all of how solar works. But the solar industry uh, isn't yet doing what they want to do. And what I mean is solar, when most people think about it, it's, hey, I can put solar on my home and then I have free power for the rest of my life, right? And that is, in theory, correct. But the reality of it is your solar system, depending on what you're trying to produce in terms of kilowatt hours for your home, it's probably going to cost you forty to $50,000 to put a good solar system in your home with the inverter and everything else, right? And, and if you want batteries, add another ten to $20,000 on, on that, right? So in order for you to actually use the solar that you're, that you're making, it's a big out-of-pocket expense. Most people don't just don't have that. So they finance that, right? And when you finance that and then take it to, in consideration what it's actually doing for you, for most people, uh, you're probably going to save about 10 to 15% on your power bill, right? 
And that's with a large output up front or a financed large output up front, right? So anyway, so that's kind of solar. Um, there are rarer scenarios where people are off grid and they're using solar and they're using all of their power. But for the most part, most people that have solar on their, on their homes, they're not even using the power that they're creating. They are actually sending that back to the grid and then they're receiving a credit. They're, it's actually a solar credit, right? And so they're, they're, they're receiving a digital coupon, so to speak, that allows them to then knock down the price of their, of their power. So it's not efficient. It's not really doing what most people think and, and it can improve. And we believe that with, with blockchain technology, we can do it better. Uh, a, a much less out of pocket expense for a much greater return and discount on your power, right? So that's that's what that's what Green is all about. That's what they're working on. You can you can see all sorts of things here, you know, with, with what the initiatives are, uh, what their goal is, how they're doing it, uh, the community obviously they're building around it, how that's going to work. Uh, it's it's a fantastic project. It's been around since 2018. Uh, and there's some really neat things that are actually taking this forward even longer. Honestly, this is one of the oldest blockchain projects out there, uh, you know, except for maybe some of the, the top, you know, four or five, like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, this has been out for a long, long time, and it's really exciting what they're doing and working on, and, and they're making some great strides. So that's great. Uh, but like I said, there are a number of other projects as well. You can go and explore all about them. If you're interested in buying a node, you can do so right here through your own dashboard. And by the way, this is connected to your wallet that you'll set up. So for example, if I click on my wallet here inside of my connect dashboard, it'll just pull up a, a, a very typical blockchain wallet, right? Uh, where the neat thing about these is you hold the private keys. So you can see right now I've got some Bitcoin in there. I've got a little bit of Ethereum in there. I've got some Gala because I was part of that project in there. Uh, I've got some green in here as well. And, and then from there, again, this shopping cart connects right to that wallet, but it still cannot execute unless I allow it to and putting in my encryption passcode and all that, right? So again, these are just, these are some of the most secure um, uh, wallets that I've ever seen in terms of a non-custodial wallet, okay? so. So anyway, you can get in there. Uh, one of the neat things also about the shopping cart experience is if you don't have enough Ethereum and kind of going to what you were saying way before, you can click right here on add more Ethereum right below here. So I'll, I'll, I'll do something. I'm going to show you something. If I was to buy a bundle today, right, I could do so. And all I have to do here is go ahead and click. Uh, uh, so a win smart node has to be part of the bundle, but if I choose any other four, so I've got a win smart node. I'll, I'll just click the, the first four here just for the sake of an example. That whole thing is 10 Ethereum, right? Which is about, uh, well, it would have been 10 Ethereum, but because I got five together, it gave me a 10% discount. So instead of 10 Ethereum, it's actually gonna be 9.5 Ethereum. And that would equal for this bundle in particular, $15,755, right? And that's for five smart notes. Um, I can change this around. If I don't want switch or if, let's say I don't want Galvin, I don't want element. I just want the the, full, the five lowest price ones, maybe just for the fun of it. I'm on a budget, right? Uh, then this right here will show me for these five, it's now 5.5 Ethereum with a 10% discount. So it's now five Ethereum, right? Is the total or $8,285. So again, there's all sorts of options. You obviously don't have to purchase a bundle. That's just one way for individuals that come in and say, hey, I really want to do some cool things here. Uh, they can do so. Uh, but if you don't get a bundle, that's okay. You can just get, you know, one, you can get one. I always recommend people start with the win smart node because that's kind of powering uh, so much of what happens. Uh, there, there it is right there, 1.2 Ethereum. You see there's no discount applied because it's not five. Uh, but if I don't have that in my balance, I can click on this add ETH to your wallet. It's going to pull up what you were talking about, Wade. Yeah, which is that script right there with the switch pay. Right, I can click on uh, debit card. I, I obviously I can always add ETH from another wallet if it's accessible. But in your scenario, Coinbase, Cash App, many of the other exchanges, when it's new Ethereum that was purchased, they hold on to it for seven to fourteen business days, depending on the service. And a lot of people don't know that, and so that can be frustrating. But now, now that you know, um, one of the best ways to go around that is just here through SwitchPay. It's it's available immediately once it's been confirmed there is a short kyc process that you have to go through but wait was that horrible or was that okay no, 
Oh, that was fine. That was easy. Yeah, By the way, it really, let me tell you one thing everybody can think of. You're, I'm going to keep this far enough away you don't see it. But I wrote down, those are my um, recovery terms because you're encouraged to write them down as well as save them digitally. And this will go into my safe deposit box, my vault that I have here locally, not, a, not in the bank, but with these terms. So these are my recovery terms that are on the yeah. sheet. And, and I needed to use those initially in Switch to get it to work because yeah. that, that, that's that security that you're talking about. Yeah, was absolutely. A little, a little more work, but the reality is it is so cool to have that protection. I hate to say that, but we need to be careful about time here. We're over over time. You and I can both go on. We love talking about this. <laughs> but I want to save a bunch of this for when you we bring you on to do hopefully a series of these, and when we have a lot more it. in our group. So, if you don't mind, mind, let's kind of wrap up here today. Um, this has been a lot of fun. You guys have all learned. I'm going to let Mark, because Mark always has some great questions. Mark, ask ask Stephen a question or two. Sorry about that again. Yeah, I mean, for, for someone who's, who's an absolute beginner, uh, depending on obviously what your goals are, my recommendation is always to start with the Win Smart node. Uh, the reason why is regardless of where you are, the Win Smart node, uh, it powers or it, it actually enhances every other smart node that you then purchase after the fact. Uh, and so it's, it's, it's an enhancer. It's, a, it's, it's a, really the driver for blockchain adoption through the Win, Win blockchain. Uh, so that's, that's what I recommend. Uh, and, and, and I probably shouldn't recommend anything, so I'm going to back up. I don't recommend anything. <laughs> uh, it's totally up to it's totally up to you, you know, or whoever as a beginner. But for me, what I love is the fact that the Win blockchain has it has blockbot technology uh, within it, which enhances uh, your node activity. It, it, it actually allows for greater reporting. It does a, a number of different things that really, uh, for the beginner or for the advanced individual, make it so much easier and better. Um, that being said, all of the projects that are on the Connect platform, in my opinion, are are amazing. And it's hard for me just to pick or pick point or pinpoint just one or to highlight just one oftentimes because I really I know all of the people that are behind each project personally. Uh, I've met them, I've eaten with them, you know, I spent a lot of time with them. And um, these are salt of the earth people who have had massive success in each of their different industries and are now kind of joining forces with blockchain and blockchain technology to provide a very different and better opportunity for people uh, all around the world to participate in those industries that, that just never was there before. So anyway, hopefully that helps. You know, Mark, let me, let me simplify it even a little bit more. Um, and, and Stephen mentioned this earlier. Um, I'm going to send you a link that will be to uh, get into the Connect site, and it's going to be um, with my. Uh, I, I haven't even. Tr I, this will be the first when I do this. I'll be the first time I do it. I, I actually have to log out of Connect. I'm logging back in now, so in just a second I'm going to be in. I want to just see what my URL says, Stephen. Do you know what it what? I would. I th did I did I select a name? I'm not remembering whether I did. No, I don't think so. I think it's automatic for you. It includes your your blockchain number, I believe. But all, all you all you need to do if you click on the share button up top, there's a kind of a navigation up on the top of the, of the dashboard. There, there's a little button on the very far right that says share, and if you click on that, you can you can send over the the free sign up form. For Mark and have him, you know, just download and get his own his own free account and start learning in there. And see, Mark, I'm just learning this, so that's easy for me to do once we get to that point. And then, even though it'd be, you know, we'll figure out maybe down the road how to get the the 
um, the kind of funds that you might need to do the, the win link. There are some win light there. There, like I said, for twenty-five dollars, you would have a node where you'll begin to earn profits. You'll you'll begin yeah. to learn from the whole process. So, uh, yeah, I, I just got yeah. Yo, you're welcome. It's fun. I'm excited. So, so yeah. So Wayne, I'd love to come back. I mean, I know you and I have talked about this, but uh, whatever I can do to kind of bless your community, you know, and and if we can get the word out, obviously, and and get a get a good group on here. Um, again, and the reason why I also asked for if you had international connections or not or whatever, but I also I speak German, and if you know if you've got a, I don't know if you've got any German following or or not, but if if so, uh, we could we could set something up like that as well. I, and we can, and we do have a German community. As a matter of fact, Arib, who helped you do some of the setting up to get on this, his brother is in Germany um, doing his master's. And oh, uh, so he's learned German. And Arib and Mark both speak English better than you and I do, even though they're Mark Bangladesh and Arib Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a great example of the old joke, which is, what do you call someone that speaks three languages? Um, trilingual, what do you call somebody that speaks two languages? Bilingual, what do you call somebody that speaks one language? American? American, that's right, that's right. <laughs> so, um, and anyway, but I think we're gonna maybe call it for the day. We got Mark's great. question in, and Stephen, I've got a ton of others that I'll catch you on later. I right. we just did one of them, which is how to share, which I came to the page here. It's really easy to do. Yeah. Um, so I can, I'll, I'll be able to do that. And um, I think that's it for me. And Stephen, do you have any other questions or, or anything else that you'd want to share to us? No. So the only other thing that I was going to mention, I, I can't remember if you and I talked about this uh, a few days ago or not, but um, the hyper builder node, the $500 one, uh, that node is, uh, they are just starting their distribution today. So today is the first day of distribution for that. Uh, so for someone who wants to be at the very beginning of the distribution schedule, uh, where the very most rewards are gonna be going to those that are participating, that would be a great opportunity. And it just so happens to be the cheapest node out of all of them at $500 per node, right? Per so Nobody's making representations here, but I'm going to just make some because I know somebody buys into that node now at this introductory of 500. Yep. You know, and it works out well. It's not, let's say it's not a gala, but it's still doing really well. In a year, is it reasonable to think that that could be selling for a thousand or three, 300? What's more oh, reasonable? Oh, the node itself? Yes. Yeah, I mean the note. The note is probably going to be jumping up to two thousand dollars in the next few days, is my guess. Uh, okay. there, okay. Yeah, there have or, there have already been a, a a decent number of nodes sold. They were artificially holding the price down on purpose. Okay. Uh, okay. And so I could be off. It may not be two thousand. It could jump up to a thousand. No, very very quickly. I don't I don't know what the exact number is going to be, but I do know that they're planning on after this first day or two of distribution, they're planning on uh, adjusting that price. Um, I just, it hasn't adjusted yet. So that's why I wanted to say that, uh, and let you guys know if you're interested in one or multiple of those nodes, uh, right now is the best probably time to get it. Awesome. And then the ways inside that, that you make additional profits and you'll talk a lot more detail about this in the future is yeah, I mean, the, the it's itself going up in value, right? The individual, um, yes. token. And, and that will either, you know, happen abruptly or slowly or however, right? I mean, right, right. And, and you know, and there's, there's risk in everything. I mean, just to be full, full transparency, there is a, there's a possibility that the value of the token never goes anywhere, you know, or it doesn't ever have a, a big value. That is, that is also a possibility that we, I, I want to make sure that we communicate that to the community appropriately because there is risk in what we're doing here. Uh, you know, but really the risk is only in however much you spent on your node software. You know, you could lose that or it, or you could have a node software that's providing you with a ton of digital rewards that just are never worth anything. You know, that that is also a possibility. All right. 
Sounds good. Well, why don't we call it for the day? Steven, this has been okay, awesome. Brother. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah. Mark, thank you for your work. And thank you, Reeve, and all everybody that's been in the audience. And a lot of you are going to be watching this on replay. Be ready for us to, to, to be announcing and getting out multiple emails about when Stephen's going to come back on again. And let's go out and figure this out and make this a better world by being economic. And Mark, why don't you take us out?